Every county except one in North Carolina is colored red as the CDC's latest map of COVID-19 spread. So take a look here. Red signifies the highest levels of transmission. Avery County in the Western Mountains is the only one that's colored orange, and that means substantial transmission. Every county in the neighboring states of South Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia also shaded red. As the number of cases of the Delta variant keeps climbing, uh, you're probably wondering when this is all going to peak. CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary digging deeper into the projections you can trust and finds we might still have three months to go. Ask Google when the peak will come and you'll get all sorts of answers from later this month all the way through the fall. Now, a doctor from UNC explains why in our state he expects it near Halloween. I think it's important for people to know that it's not just us watching the skies for a change in the weather. Dr. David Wall says UNC is simulating what our case numbers and hospital admissions might look like if things don't change. We can predict pretty reasonably what might happen based upon what we've seen before. He says their model points to a peak in late October or early November. We are headed back towards where we were, you know, late winter. During that peak, we averaged more than 8,000 new cases per day. We are already at more than 5,000 now. I, I hope we don't get in order to the kind of data we're seeing now. The internet is flooded with forecasts, and some are more reliable than others. The CDC combines more than 20 of the best ones into a composite. It projects new cases in our state to climb 70% by late September to more than 40,000 a week. People are getting the sense now that things are different, that things are different than they were during the lull between the last surge and this surge. One big difference, Delta spreads faster than other strains. And my story online breaks down why that could make this peak different from the last one. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary. All right, Jody, thank you.